Starting and consistency, they say, are the most important steps to greatness. Fully persuaded about the need for a solution and the actualization of the ultimate goal that ensures the provision of free and quality education. We stay gallant, like the mountain against the sea storm, as we understand that our challenges are just launch pads. With our hands on the plow and never looking back, we ensure that growth and learning never stops. We have been learning so far and this learning has made me achieve many things, many things that I can be able to go and teach my younger ones at home, which are phonics, English and math. In English, we learned how to use comma to separate clauses in a sentence. There are many children that do not have this opportunity and it makes me feel special. So I'm glad for what has happened with my baby, for the lesson that Miss Angela offered to our children. So my baby, she's really learned, learned it very well. She even afford a lesson for some children that they are not going to that lesson. So I'm really happy. I'm very happy for the way I see Melody, the way I see my child is doing. She wouldn't do the assignment without telling me she can do something that will make me even I'll say now nah, she speak this one. Because all the way where she they speak, she they she they speak good English and they hear the way where she they speak. Without all my the time where she start this school, I even she no know how to read, but now she they read. I I they give them something where she go read for me. She go read them well, the way, way I like them. I'm very happy for this lesson since when this lockdown started. I tell myself, say, these two children, they go go back to square one. But I honestly, the, the, the idea came out that they should start lesson and they start the lesson. I, I always see the way where they are going forward. I thank God for this school. My name is Saratu. We are happy with the classes and we are thankful. We have honestly seen a lot of progress. During the lockdown, all the children did was play. But with these lessons, no excess play. Whatever they are taught, they come home to tell us about it. We are grateful and we pray God grants you more strength to be more patient as you bear the weight. Years and counting. Helped by you and other well-meaning individuals in our society, we have built a system to meet the quality educational needs of out-of-school children. I'm so glad to be part of digital learning. It has helped my children a lot. They testify that they now listen, they now write, it has improved their writing skills, their listening skills. With the help of digital learning, they can now listen to news and they understand perfectly everything. Brought a lot of critical thinking and we suggested that we cannot allow our children to sit at home. The best to do is let us do online learning. And actually we started with video recording. From video recording, a lot of knowledge was coming out. Now think that the best we can do, we should do we um, um, look for an app that can be an interactive lesson to the children. So we got an app called LiveBoard, and we started using LiveBoard to teach the children. At the beginning of the lockdown, we started out handing out weekly worksheets to our pupils every Friday. They would turn in previous worksheets and take new worksheets. But as the lockdown extended, we saw the need to make learning more interactive and productive for our learners. So we developed this project called Digital Learning Project at Oakbridge Foundation. We load pre-recorded lessons onto tablets and have them played in the homes of the pupils, supervised by a family member to ensure that the lessons where the children are following all the instructions in the lessons. The lessons are interactive such that the children can provide feedback as the lessons are ongoing. In the past two months, we have noticed a lot of changes in the attitude of our learners. They are really excited about this session. It gives them a sense of inclusion. 
in the sense that they know that not many children in that community are receiving the kind of education they are receiving at this time when most children are not receiving any. It is pleasurable to watch. It's a development that has been really progressing fine. We plan to extend this intervention to other children in the community, starting with a minimum of 500 pupils. We will do this in partnership with proprietors and teachers that live within the community. Firm, in our belief, in actualizing a world of well-rounded and educated young individuals, we are situated on that path by your support. To join us on this phenomenal journey, visit our website at www oakbridgefoundation.org there you find all the information regarding the resources we need to make this project possible we look forward to working with you as we make a difference in the lives of children who need quality education thank you